What is up from Beyond the Swamp? My name is Creeper, a member of your Frank Supremacy Security Forces. Back with another quick video to tackle a problem that some people have had and I've been running to in the shop. The 9mm Dilemma. Not just the standard problem of, well, finding 9mm, but what types of 9mm there are out there because there's more than just the standard 9mm that we've grown to know and love. We're going to be uh, covering a few quick things just for clear clarification and, well, not to get this taken down. In no way, shape, or form am I advising anyone do the things that I'm about to do. Furthermore, I am not showing a firearm in any way, shape, or form to become more deadly. In fact, if you do what I do, you're going to destroy your gun, making it far less deadly. Therefore, I do not violate Twitch or YouTube's terms of services. So let's get into this. There are a few different types of 9mm out there, and I will throw in some stories that did happen at the shop, and ones we've had to address. Now, excuse me one quick second while I get all these boxes open. Well, first I'm going to show them to you. We have the 380, and most people go, well, Creeper, that's not 9mm. Also called 9mm Browning. That cartridge is a 9 by 17 projectile. Now when you, we go into the by whatevers, 9, the first part, is the diameter of the projectile. By 17 is the case length. So this is shorter than the standard 9 millimeter. We've had people take this, try to run it in their standard 9 millimeter guns. It will function, and I do not recommend you do this. You can damage your firearm. But it will fire the round, they're like, well, it doesn't cycle, blah, 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 think it's bad ammo. No, they just got the wrong ammo. Then you have 9x18, Makarov, which is not a true 9mm projectile, uh, or diameter projectile, excuse me. It's more like a 9.22. This is Russian manufactured, steel case lacquer, round nose. And this round was produced not to work in our firearms because, well, we weren't friends with Russia back then. Then we have the standard 9x19, 9mm, 9mm Luger. Yes, I broke out the brass. I broke out the good stuff for you guys. Nine millimeter per diameter projectile. 19 millimeters on the case length. Then one, a lot of people don't know exist. 9 by 23 Largo, which is the Spanish word for large. Yet again, 9 millimeter diameter round, 23 millimeters on the case length. Just to give it size comparison, here it is next to the standard 9 by 19. Now, we've had at the Armory all manner of people not requisition the proper ammunition for their firearm. Beyond me, I don't think anyone uses the 9x23, and I just use that in my Astro 400 when I'm having fun at the range. Now, let's put this into practical applications. We're going to be using my CZ75 in standard 9mm for a 9mm barrel. Excuse me while I take this down. Look, Twitch and YouTube, I'm making the gun less deadly. And now we have our 9mm barrel. I don't own any guns in 380, so that's going to be omitted, but I do have my Polish Makarov, which we will be using for the 9x18. So let's actually start off with Makarov because it's the one in my hand. Here's your barrel breech. Let's try 9x23. No, I don't think that's going to close. And if it does and fires, well, this gun's going to IED in your hand. Let's try the 9x19. Same deal, sits just out of battery and that's by the design. 
Comblock did not want us using our ammunition in their guns. Oops. And while we know the 9x19 is going to fit in there, so let's just for fun try the 380 in. That sits in there well enough, but not quite meant for the gun. I would not fire that. So, 9mm barrel. Let's start off with the 380. Fits in there, and I've first hand seen it. It will fire in there. I'm not recommending you do it. It won't cycle properly in your gun, or you may even damage your gun. Now, this is where we get to go into story time. We had an individual, when I was working at the armory, come up no less than three separate times with a box of 9mm Makarov and try to buy it. It's like, oh, I'm so glad you got 9mm, I can fire my Glock. And I had to tell him those three times that this would not work in your gun. He ended up coming back on a Monday when I wasn't there, bought the box, came back the next Saturday with that problem. Doesn't fit in there too well, does it? He tried to beat the gun into battery and force it to fire. If he had put that round down this pipe, that gun would have blown up in his hand. However, lucky for him, the individual I work with was far nicer about it than I would have and actually tapped the round out of the breech from him because it got stuck, but I would have told him to kick rocks. Either way, don't do it. 9x19 fits just fine because, well, made for it. 9x23 Largo. Yeah, I don't think that's going into battery. So, now granted there is a 9x25 Dillon out there, but I don't have a gun that shoots it, nor do I have an, a round of that ammo to show you guys. But this is covering the 9mm Dilemma. Next time I do one of these videos, we're going to go into 7.62 because there's a whole different flavor of those out there. But now, you guys armed with this knowledge can use the proper ammo and your proper firearms so you all can stay safe out there.